Welcome to the NBA show. It is a new year. We are here at MIT Sloan. Justin, can you show uh, show the crowd here uh, the audience that we've got today? Crowd, let them know. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. It is a new year. We've got new MBAs. We've got uh, some new hosts. Look at them. Bright, eager-eyed, fresh-faced. They're going to be completely screwed. <laughs> Remember, uh, to su remember to subscribe to us on iTunes. Sorry, what was that? Well, I was going to say, I'm International MBA of Mystery. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm, I'm Miro Kaz. It's an MBA. Excellent. And uh, today, an, an interesting topic for those of you starting is about your personal brand. And uh, fresh, fresh face MBAs, what, uh, what are you worried about in terms of your personal brand? Well, I'm worried about being pigeonholed. How so? Well, I come from a faraway country, right? <laughs> and I used to be an engineer. I used to be a very, very good engineer. I was like the Johnson from Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> Is that and so? Yes. Someone's a little, a uh, little proud of their background. Yes, here. yes. I was, I was very good at it. And, uh, but the problem is that I also got involved in film production. And, and that's all and anyone ever remembers well, about you, me. You made films, like movies? Yeah, but I, no, I, I was an engineer. That's, I only happened to get involved in film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but I don't want to talk about films. I, I just want, I, I, I yeah. want to, be, I want to s have startups and technology yeah. and, and, you know. That's very interesting, but how do you think your MBA experience is going to enhance your filmmaking career? Yeah, no, I don't want it to enhance my <laughs> filmmaking. Yeah, can we talk about the engineering? <laughs> so tip number one. Tip number one. You only get one thing to talk about on your personal brand. You mentioned filmmaking. That is going to be the one thing that people, that people remember about your personal brand MBA. So pick the thing that's, uh, that's important to you. You know, Mir, I've got a classmate. He's yep. a PhD in physics. Yep. Come into this MBA program and uh, wants to go into the entertainment industry. Obviously very different fields, but uh, I mean, a PhD in physics, that says a lot about someone's intelligence, work ethic. PhD, unbelievable achievement, and guess what? If you don't want to use that PhD in your MBA, you cannot mention it. As soon as you mention it, all you will ever be is the PhD guy. I was talking to someone here who was a doctor who wants to go into different venture capital. I'm sorry, my friend, you did unbelievable work getting your doctor. You may never mention it when you are, don't never mention it, but when you are first meeting people, if you say it, it was all people remember, which is why tip two is for your personal brand, focus on the future. What you want to do, not where you've been. You know, uh, I got to be honest. Yeah. I'm not feeling this uh, this problem, this pigeonholing problem. Why? What? What did you do? What, well, what, what looking, do you want to do? I'm looking to go into uh, management consulting. Management um, consulting, boring. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> So what did you do before school? <laughs> well, uh, not to violate our first two tips, but uh, I was actually in the Navy and I was a bomb technician. You were a bomb technician? That's you correct. You were a, like, like actually like diffusing, like, like don't cut the red wire, cut the like, green the, wire. Like, like the hurt locker? Exactly, <laughs> like the so hurt locker. So you were in the hurt locker? That was me. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you were a bomb tech. Yeah, I, I know it's hard to believe. Uh, you know. And, you, and now you want to be a management consultant. Yeah, you know, a lot of times uh, when I was over in Iraq, really hot, big bomb suit, looking for bombs. But uh, to, to be totally honest, at the end of a lot of those days. Those the days, like, like diffusing bombs on the road that were going to kill people. Correct, yes. I, I, all I could think about was becoming a management consultant. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in the desert, sweating, sand in your eyes, and you were dreaming about... Yeah, I named my rifle McKinsey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is actually an important exception to our, prior, to our prior tips, which is that if the door is closed on what you did before, it's OK to talk about it. Are you going back to the military? No. <laughs> well, yeah, but um, so, yeah, so as you were saying, you left the military. And someone who leaves the military obviously doesn't want to be there. So that's kind of closure. If you have closure, then that's the tip. And that leads into another tip why, my friend, I would talk to everyone that you possibly can about being a bomb tech um, and not being a management consultant. Because if it's not However, clear... However... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, if it's not clear, you want to be different. And that's a really important part of what you pick as your personal brand. There's a lot of people who want to be management consultants, be something a little different. It helps if maybe you've saved uh, a bunch of lives. That's... Uh, that, that, it's, yeah. that's, I'm so impressed, by the way. <laughs> 
By the way, just a short disclaimer to all our viewers who are still applicants, you are being evaluated by people who are professionals, who know how to balance these things. So all these tips are relevant only for students who have been admitted and have these 30 second pitches to do all day for new classmates and stuff. And I think that's part of the problem people fall into is you've just done your application, so your application was all about what you did in the past. All your, your prior great achievements, that's over now. Focus on your future. Um, speaking of your futures, what are you up to this weekend, Lieutenant MBA? I'm actually headed to a two-day baking class. <laughs> <laughs> International MBA of Mystery, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm meeting a Web 2.0 startup to see where that takes me. Oh, you're very interesting. What about you, Christina R. Johnson? I am still moving into my new apartment. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Miro? I will be packing for my uh, trip down south. Remember to subscribe to uh, us at the MBA. Down south, really? That's so boring. That's so boring. <laughs> Sorry, when I say be different, I'm packing for my trip to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to us at TheMBAShow.com. As always, I'm Miro Kaz. I'm Lieutenant MBA. And I'm International MBA of Mystery. And you've been watching The MBA Show. Woo!